Hi! Today we are going to do a short but comprehensive tutorial on how to keybind Moza multifunction stocks in Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator and additionally share some tips and troubleshooting options if these two games do not recognize the device. So, because these stocks have so many functions and positions, ETS2 binding system has fallen behind and first time we tried Moza multifunction stocks, we had some binding issues. So, for example, the turn signal indicator was activating, but it wasn't cancelling because the Euro Truximator 2 doesn't have separate on off positions for the turn signal key binding. Luckily, Moza solved this issue, and today we are going to show you what needs to be done in order to have everything functional. First of all, besides the stocks being properly fitted and connected to the computer, check out the unboxing and setup video for that. So besides that, an absolute must is to have the latest Moza Pithouse software. Also, make sure the app is run as administrator. Then you need to have Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator configured in Moza Pithouse. This is done by simply pressing configure. Once this step is completed, we can go ahead and set it inside the game as well. Now that you are in Euro Truck Simulator 2, check if Moza Multifunction Stocks are selected in the Controls tab. Then head to the Keys and the Buttons tab. It is recommended to do a clean setup, so just reset to default, then set the Wipers Back function to the minus key on your keyboard. Make sure these highlighted bindings remain just as you see in this photo. Everything else can be modified. What I would do in addition is setting the gear selection and cruise control. So because ETS2 doesn't have multiple intermittent wiper steps, you might as well use this module for the gear selector, which is kind of similar to the real Scania gear selector. First of all, set the shift to neutral binding both on intermittent and off positions. Then set the shift to drive on missed position and shift to reverse on high position, it should work perfectly. Now when it comes to the cruise control, I set the cruise control binding to the on off switch, cruise control decrease to the minus lever position and cruise control increase on the plus lever position. Cruise control resume works fine on the pull position. Everything should work perfectly fine inside the game, especially the turn signal activation, cancelling and even turn signal tapping, as well as the light selector, high beam and flashes. On the right stock you will be able to do a one-time wipe, have an intermittent position, as well as wipers off, normal speed and high speed wiping. The shift to drive, neutral or reverse should also work flawlessly without any issue. Additionally, the cruise control activation and settings will also work pretty intuitively. Now, if you encounter any situation where the turn signal stocks are not recognized by the game, I have a couple of tips for you. First of all, make sure the Moza Pithouse is run as administrator. If you still encounter issues, close the app and start it again. This step can also be done while the game is in the background, there isn't any issue with that. At this point, the stocks should be again recognized. If not, you might as well check if the game is still configured and the stock adaptation mode is on Euro Truck Simulator 2 American Truck Simulator mode. As a last resort, you might restart the game as well, also as administrator. So, this is how to set your Moza multifunction stocks for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. If you are interested in the best way to set your Moza wheelbase and truck sim wheel for this game, we have a dedicated tutorial for the best feedback and realism as well. Links in the description.